got a uh, piece of floppy disk here. So we're just going to cut it. So keep in mind, we're basically just going to fill this area here with a piece of floppy disk here. Um, I think I'm going to do two things here. We're going to... Where did the screws go? We're going to do a before and after. But uh, just get the rough size of the thing you're trying to cut here. So, yeah, it's about that big. Make it squarish. So this is a cheap way to do it. I got some filters coming, but this will work. So cut a piece and get it about the size of it. And stick it in there. So got a piece of floppy disk in there. Let's see, cut it a little better. two things. We're going to show you before and then after. So, put this guy in here. So we're going to screw in the thing without the f IR f blocking filter and without the IR or the visible blocking filter. So the piece of glass we took out is the IR blocking. The piece of floppy is going to act as a bandpass filter and be the visible blocking. It's a cheap temporary solution. You can also use about three layers of exposed photo f negative film or a floppy disk. Um, anyways. So we got it screwed back on. The um, piece is not in there. We're going to plug this in and show you that. And then we're going to switch it to. OK, so we're going to switch you guys over to. So here is the fil here's the camera here, and as you can see in the image behind me, that's it running at. 100 frames per second. You can see it flickering back between like 99.6 and 100. Anyways, so here's where we just were. Um, let me show you the filter, pro the focus problem. We took out that piece of glass which is in there and it helps focus it. So the problem is now that you can see it's fairly blurry. So what you have to do is, let me show you, see if I can find you here. in front of this. So you have to take this thing and you have to turn it like I was saying and basically you'll see as soon as you get to the furthest part it comes into focus right there. So that's it's one of the clicks it's all the way if you're looking at it all the way to the counterclockwise so you can do that 
a lot of people have put something under it or like I was saying earlier you can get a different lens anyways um, so that's that um, that's visible 320 by 240 at 100 frames because what we're doing we don't need the resolution as much the frame rates more important for the multi-touch okay to unscrew it Put the visible blocking filter in, attach it, So, got it all plugged back in. We're going to plug it back into the computer. And we're going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so, here it is. We're basically looking at the light from the camera. You can see the tiny little dot. Now that's an LED, so you can see it's not a great visible filter, but it blocks a lot of the light. This is actually panning around the room. This is a desk lamp. And these are two more lamps in my room. So, got some light in here. We're going to turn my table on. Okay. So, here's the table. So, There we go. Right. So you can see all the IR light coming from below. So if we turn it, we turn it off. Let me turn it off. No IR light. Turn the IR lights on. Boom. There you go. So you can see I've got. Uh, you won't be able to see very well, but anyways. So this is just showing the IR light. LEDs from my table. This is a LED LP table that you can find written up on poproductions.blogspot.com about this table and all my other stuff. Anyways, this is a look at taking the IR filter out, the blocking filter out of a PS3i dissection, undoing it, putting a visible blocking floppy disk piece in, and making it work for multi-touch optical based systems using IR LEDs or lasers. Alright, check out my blog. Thanks guys.